Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my free hit draft and my overall team selection for Blank Game Week 32. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Leave a comment, are you free hitting this week? Which players are you bringing in? Subscribe if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, in goal I have gone with John Stone just simply because Everton don't look that good at the moment. Roy has seemed to really sort out Crystal Palace at the back and up front. They're scoring a lot more goals, they're conceding a lot uh, less goals. So yeah, I think as an option he is probably the, the best one to really go for. Obviously you've got your uh, Arsenal goalkeepers, your Liverpool goalkeepers etc. But we're going to want three outfield players for those teams so it just makes sense to just go with John Stone. Like, the, I'd like to think the bulk of my points are going to come from my outfield players. So I don't think the goalkeeper is too much of a problem. You could also go for the Leicester keeper as well if you really wanted to. Because they've got Wolves at home. But I don't know. Le Leicester just don't look good at the moment at all. And, you know, Crystal Palace just look a lot better. So that's why I'm going with John Stone. But uh, there's a decent couple of other keeper options if you really want to. You could go Martinez as well for Villa who's got Brentford away. But if you do have Tony on your free hit, you don't really want any players playing your defenders. Because it just kind of minimizes the points they can get that's why on my draft i've got no attackers playing a defender just simply because i want the most amount of points i could possibly get if everything goes my way and all my defenders get a clean sheet it means my attackers could still get returns as well so anyway that's my goalkeeper at the back we've got trippier who's got spurs at home which I feel like isn't on a lot of free hit drafts at the moment. And whether that is because a lot of people are going with Kane or not, um, I don't really know. But, you know, he, he's literally still a really, really good option. And he's so highly owned. And I feel like if he pops off and Spurs don't score, then he could definitely come around with the three bonus because he usually does if he does get the clean sheet. So, yeah, I don't know. I There is obviously like a Crystal Pal uh, Palace defender I could play instead. But I just think that seeing as no one is really playing Trippier on the free hit draft and he's still very highly owned I feel like if he does pop off it does it's gonna really hurt my rank so that's why I've gone Trippier it's more of a safety pick than a, like a, an exciting pick but it's one that I think I have to make just in case he does do really really well my other two defenders are Robertson and Trent with they've both got Forrest at home obviously away we are absolutely terrible i don't think we've scored many goals away from home at all this season i think it's like three or something liverpool just absolutely destroyed leeds last night as well so uh, yeah i feel like it's going to be a bit of a cricket score as much as i would like to beat liverpool as a forest fan I think it's very, very unlikely. I know that we beat them when they came to the city ground, but I think that was just a bit of an anomaly, really. I, I think they're going to beat us like 3-0 at least. Um, it's not going to be very, very nice to watch at all going to uh, Anfield. So that's why we have gone Trent and Robertson. Trent obviously played incredible last night. I mean, he did pick up the ball in one of the assists, which is unfortunate if you don't own him. But uh, yeah, I think that he's got to be a must on every single free hit draft this week. And as well as that, I think there has to be a way to... you got to start thinking of a way to bring him into your team as well after the free hit i might be taking a minus eight in game week 33 because i need salary in my team i need trent in my team and um the only way i can really do that is probably if i take like a minus four minus eight or something like that i'll have to wait and see i don't know it depends what happens obviously there's midweek games and everything to go this week so everything could easily change um but yeah that's the back line robertson obviously he could get an assist as well but uh yeah that's the back line in midfield i've gone for bowen who's got bournemouth away who i think is a little bit of a differential this week i think he's definitely capable of scoring a couple of goals against bournemouth he did score against arsenal it was a really nice finish as well he isn't on penalties but at the same time that's not like a massive of um, reason to not pick him i've gone salah as well who's got forest at home he is my current captain but that could definitely change and then i've got martinelli and saka who have got southampton at home now saka is like um it's an interesting pick really because you could also go erdegaard if you really wanted to i think he should still be on penalties Mikel alteta seems to say that you know he should he should still be fine to take penalties or something like that in the post-match interview um but yeah his his form has dropped off considerably since jesus returned to the squad but his home form is a lot better than his away form and i think i'm just going to give him like one last um hurrah i guess and see what uh, what happens there but yeah saka i think for southampton at home is going to be uh, in my team but again could easily change i could bring in erdegaard if i want to this is just like my preliminary free hit draft but a lot of things could easily change martinelli i'm actually excited to own this week i did have him for a considerable amount of the season then i decided to transfer him out um for erdegaard i think when he decided to do absolute wonders so hopefully he does do something this week of course because i own him this week he's not going to get anything even though he's had like an attacking return every single week that's just the way it goes but uh, yeah hopefully martinelli and saka can bring some points 
um, in the uh, the midfield this week. But yeah, very, very nice midfield. I'm, I'm hoping for a return from all of these players. I'm expecting a return from all of these players. And yeah, hopefully Bowen is a little bit of a differential. I've not seen him on too many drafts. A few people have gone Madison instead, which could potentially hurt me. And I may even bring in Madison as well and um, not play three up the top. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Again, I've got a lot of thinking to do with this free hit draft. I have to get it right. I have just got a red arrow. It's not a very big one. I went from like 28k to 32k. The Liverpool game wasn't great to me, but they're not absolutely highly owned. So it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, so yeah, I need a massive green arrow this week. I need to get my decisions right. So that's the midfield. Up top, we've got Jesus, who's got Southampton at home. We've got Solanke, who's got West Ham at home. And then Watkins, who's got Brentford away. Again, a few people are going are gonna to go Kane on this draft. Newcastle away. It could hurt me if he does do wonders but i just can't really fit kane into this draft unless i get rid of like bowen and stuff like that and i don't know i i feel like potentially kane might not i don't, spurs just don't look that good at the moment and i know he could get a penalty and get like nine points which would be really really annoying but solanke could easily score he's been really really good lately i mean watkins has just been in the form of his life and then yeah jesus has been scoring as well so very very happy with that up uh up front and then the 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 bench is iverson who's got wolves at home Eze who's got everton at home uh gay or guy who's got everton at home and then pinnock who's got villa or uh, at home as well of course i'm not going to be playing brentford uh players because they do have um, watkins playing them the crystal palace team i mean this is the thing like do i play as do i play gay this is the like the interesting situation i could obviously drop solanke potentially and then have madison and then play a 3-5-2, which again, I'm not ruled out at all. And this is what I mean. There's so many different combinations you can use this week. I quite like this free hit draft as it is right now, but fitting Madison in over Solanke, who's going to score more? I don't know. I think Madison is probably do a big haul right now, but I don't know if... Um if that's going to be this week or not. So, no, no. Well, I have to wait and see. But as of right now, this is how my free hit draft is looking. Again, I'll probably make a video later on in the week going over any updates and stuff. Because, again, anything can happen. Um, we could get injury news or anything like that. Like, Zinchenko literally got a random groin injury in training. Anything like that can happen. And if that is the case, I do need a relatively strong bench. Just, just in case the worst uh, scenario happens. But, yeah, I quite like the draft. I know it's quite template in terms of everyone's going to have Salah, Trent Robertson, Martinelli, Saka, Jesus. There's a couple of people out there that have Odegaard instead of Saka. I haven't seen a lot of drafts with like Bowen. Solanke's quite highly owned. Obviously, Watkins is going to be very highly owned. So yeah, I think Trippier is a bit of a differential for teams around my rank, even though he is quite highly owned. Um, and then, yeah, Bowen hopefully can do bits as well. But could easily bring in Madison instead of Solanke. Uh, Kane could easily make his way into my team as well instead of Trippier. I could drop Trippier for like a a crystal palace defender but i don't know double crystal palace defense do i really want to play that i'm not really too sure uh, because they could easily concede against everton but yeah this is my free hit draft uh most likely is going to change by the time that the uh the game week 22 uh, 32 uh deadline rolls around but let me know your guys thoughts on my free hit um and yeah are you free hitting subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell it's everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace